Hi beauties. All right, we're back with another haul, but it's not my haul. We did this with the Lancome holiday set. I kind of talked about last year, I got both. Um, this year, my mom bought the Lancome one and she said, do you want to open it up and just show everybody? Um, so we did, we opened it up. Uh, a lot of people saw that I think and, and were very interested in it because she got it early um, from HSN. The Estee Lauder one, I was disappointed with the Estee Lauder one from last year. And so I really had no intention. I thought maybe I will get the Lancome one, but I really had no intention of getting the Estee Lauder one. Well, mom wound up picking up the Estee Lauder one. And let me explain what happened because she wasn't gonna get it either. Black Friday, Belks did, um, they had a coupon for like 25% off uh, beauty, anything beauty. Um, they had like 65% off other sales and everything like that. Mom's been shopping a lot from Belks to buy clothes. And so she happened to see that the Estee Lauder kit, not the Lancome one, just the Estee Lauder, they actually said any Estee Lauder purchase. So didn't matter, there was no price limit. Normally you have to spend $45 with Estee Lauder in Estee Lauder products. And then you have to pay an additional $75 to get this on top of that. Well, for Black Friday, they said any purchase will qualify you to, to be able to add the Estee Lauder kit. So I actually had, I really considered it. I did not do it. I really considered it. I have like a mascara and a makeup remover mini set that was $15 on sale with that coupon for like $11.25 and it let me add this. And the kit itself also was on sale for 25% off. So it was $60 to add the kit. So my mom, I think wound up getting a perfume that was half price. It was like $37. And then she added this. It was like, it was $100, under $100 for everything before tax. Last year, just for us to, at, cause we went to the Christmas show, the Southern Christmas show in Charlotte. We both bought it there for us to buy the product and get the kit. I know I spent $150. So great deal. This was, un and it would, honestly, it speaks a lot about what happened, what's going on with 2020 and how buying is going because I've never seen them put the sale, of this set on sale before in years past. So crazy, very good deal. It was, if you wanted to do it, it was a really good way to do it. I probably will regret not doing it, but I'm trying to be so good with the house. And I've bought a couple things from Ulta. I bought, you know, Glamlight just had their foodie box for the holidays release and I bought one of those. So I really was like, I'm not, I'm not gonna do it. But mom said, well, why don't you unbox it? She also wants me to do a look with this one and the Lancome one still, which I haven't done yet. Um, so probably will happen. That's a lot of backstory. Anyway, let me move my Christmas tree out the way. Let's look at this bad boy. I really liked what was going on with the Lancome one this year. I haven't used the product. She hasn't used the product, so I can't speak on how quality is, but I know last year Estee Lauder's quality very much disappointed me and Lancome's um, was a lot better, but oh. The kits, man, they, the, the cases themselves always are what get me. This one is really cute, very, it's velvety. Very cute, love the little bow. I actually, looking at it online, didn't like it as much as I like it in person here. It is really very precious. Estee Lauder's really is very similar year to year. I've gotten two in the past, like when there was like 10 years in between the two and they both were this kind of like square red shape with like a different different texture, different feature on it. But it's oh, they always kind of keep it similar. Whereas lawn combs, they normally do multiple colors. They'll do like a variation of black and maybe like a pink or something like that. So um, so I think there's a little bit more of a like a, an eye catching year, year to year in between the two but oh and this is a nice like it's a very durable case like something you could fit a lot of like palettes and stuff in and it'll bend with it instead of being really hard all right so this is what we're looking like on the inside you get a lot of products i will say they say this is a 450 dollars value i totally believe that because you're getting in this one you got three palettes you got two lip glosses two lipsticks this makeup remover is one of my favorites um i think that's the yeah, makeup remover, uh, mascara, and then you get the advanced night repair, uh, the advanced night repair eye cream, and the revitalizing supreme global anti-aging cell power cream. Uh, and they did have two different variations that came with like a different one of, oh God, just taking these out is always hard. A different one of these creams. So um, we'll talk about the creams. Um, this one is just, from what I understand about it, this is just supposed to go in there and like fight wrinkles and keep your skin looking nice and youthful. Um, that's why my mom went with it. I actually probably would have gone with the other one. I don't remember what the other one was now, but when I was looking at it, I was thinking that was something that was more on brand for what I would look for. It's half a fluid ounce. So okay size. I mean, definitely does have that misleading packaging, but that's, I mean, this is a full size product. So it's, that's just, that's just the best day lauder packaging, but we've got that. Then we've got the advanced night repair part of why, cause mom was like, you know, I would, I like these 
you know, nice little, this was probably a half an ounce as well. It is. And this one is probably a full ounce if I had to guess. It is, yay. I think the packaging has changed a little bit. It, the top of it feels a little different than last year. Still really nice. You get, of course, the nice little dropper with the uh, the face cream and then the inside of this is just like that. I still have my one from last year. And so my mom was like, I used these you know, skincare products a lot. And I'm like, I still have my one from last year. So that was part of how I talked myself out of spending $100 I didn't need to spend. Of course, oh my God, I'm not gonna pull this guy out. He's he, nice, good size. We all know what makeup remover looks like. I do actually really like the makeup removers that come with both the Lancome and the Estee Lauder kit. You've got their Sumptuous Extreme Mascara. And I can't remember, I, I like one of their, the mascaras and I hate the other one. I, I can't remember which one I like. I gotta see the brush. Yeah, I'm not, this is the one I'm not a big fan of. I don't like, it's very long. You see the, the brush is very, very long. And so I feel like it makes, like when you're going in and trying to, it makes it very easy to like hit in different places. Um, and then mess up your, uh, and I'm always trying to do my mascara fast. It's like I've spent so much time and I'm that's the home stretch for me. So I'm just like, and then I wind up hitting somewhere. And with those extra long, I just, I'm not a fan of it. So I'm not a huge fan of that mascara, but it's a free mascara more or less, so whatever. First lipstick we got is a very nice beige neutral shade. Definitely up my mom's alley. She loves like those kind of neutrals. And then the next one, honestly, this is something she'd probably give to me. Um, if she's gonna break up the set because she will never wear a red ever. She just doesn't like red lipsticks. It's not her. It's not her thing, and that's fine. It's not everybody's thing. But I do like that they include a very neutral and then a very classic vibrant red for the holidays. I've said it in the past that red, that vibrant red, is always something that I gravitate towards during the holiday season. I don't really wear red lipsticks very often, but as you can tell right now, I'm wearing a very vibrant red. I just think it's a nice little piece to have in a collection um, when you're looking for makeup looks during the holiday season. Since really from like Thanksgiving on, I like to have like a red lipstick that I kind of incorporate for like parties and things like that. So that's a very nice product in my opinion. Definitely not something she's gonna ever use though. I'm interested to see this one lipstick. Lip, oh no, it definitely is a gloss. So I like the packaging on this too. There's like a little bow on this. So it's, and there's bows on the little palettes too. So that's very cute. I like the way that that is kind of on. Oh, interesting. I'm gonna try this one on, on top of what I've got going on. And I don't like lip glosses, so it may I may hate this decision. I may hate myself for making this decision, but I just wanna see. It is red, oh my gosh. Like even on top of my other red, I can tell. Okay, I like it. Interest, it's got an interesting like scent to it. Almost tastes like watermelon. I don't know. The bristles are weird. They don't, I was expecting it to like bend. It's not, it's like a stick. It's very pigmented and it's gorgeous actually. It really does nicely on top of that red shade too, but I think even on its own, it would be a nice standalone color. So I really like that. Um, once again, I'm kind of hoping, cause my mom's never gonna use them. I'm kind of hoping she's gonna be like, here, you can have them. Like I don't care that much cause I'm not like a huge lipstick person, but I know she's never gonna use them. So they're just gonna sit and go to, and they're gonna go bad. So whatever. And then you got this really nice little neutral color. I do love that they pretty much picked ones that would match each of the lipsticks so that it's perfectly like right on top of one another. Love it. You love to see it. All right, let's get into the big part. These are what you guys know, I'm a palette person. So these are what always are the, the decision makers for me is I will choose a palette. <laughs> I will choose to buy something for a palette. So uh, last year I was very disappointed with the palettes and one of my biggest complaints was they are very tiny and it looks like that's kind of the same thing going on with this one. Really pretty colors though. The tininess doesn't bother me as much as last year. I felt like the formula was very um, hard to blend out. The colors didn't pay off the way I was hoping for them to. But these are really gorgeous neutral colors right here in this palette. This one is called the Pure Color Envy Eyeshadow Palette, the, sh the Nudes. So this is your nude, very basic, nice workable shades. There are a lot of them are kind of like glitter tinted, but um, not like they're more metallic-y, but they're not like necessarily glitter. You could still probably use them interchangeably as like a matte shade if you needed to. And I really personally like this one up here. I think that's a really deep mauve, pretty color. It is small and that was one of my complaints about last year's palette, so. Um, and then this one is the Glam palette, the Color Envy Glam palette. And these are more blue tones. I recall last year, I think the, the one that we chose was also kind of like a blue toned one. And then you've got like a really pretty purple or two in here, like this purple, this kind of like deep plum. You've got like a, this is almost like a very blue and purple centric, um, which I do like. I don't dislike it. I, I don't, I don't know. I like the, I like the Lancome palettes better. Definitely like hands down, I like them way better. And then you get the, uh, the face trio and that is called the 
color, the Pure Color Envy Cheek Palette Glow. And you get a Bronze Goddess, a, I don't know. These two look like highlighters. One of them, I think they're both highlighters and then obviously a blush, so you get a lot. For 60 bucks, considering, I, I it, you, ha you have to say, the set alone is already a deal. The fact that makes the set hard to, to, to stomach buying for me at least is the fact that normally you have to spend $45. Typically when mom and I do it, like last year we both bought a perfume and so we wound up spending like $80. And then on top of that, you have to spend another 75 in order to get the set. It's a big chunk of money you're laying down on this. That sale that they did, which I know it is ended. I don't know if they're gonna do anything else like that. It's very possible you may see them go on sale after the holidays as well if they don't sell a lot of them. I think the reason truthfully is that we're seeing a direct result of COVID. Um, just I personally, I'm not buying things like I did in the years past because not only because of COVID, um, but because, you know, we're buying a house. So it's just like the, my priorities are just in different areas right now. I'm thinking about house things and, and buying, you know, silverware and buying a refrigerator and buying furniture. I'm not thinking really about buying makeup the way I have in years past. So for me, it was kind of an easy decision to say last year, I wasn't super thrilled with the, the, the kit. And then, you know, even though this is a great deal, I'm going to go ahead and say, you know, there's other things I need to prioritize. So that's why I opted not to get it. That being said, this is the best deal I've ever seen with this kit. I can't believe that they put it on. I, when mom told me, I was literally shocked. It was like, it was Sunday morning and it was like four in the morning. We we're sitting there in the kitchen talking for like two hours and she's like, it's on sale. And I was like, what? It was, it was a wild, it was a wild story. But anyway, yeah, I don't know. I, I think I'm gonna have to test it. I, she wants me to try it out. So I may try and do that, the, use the makeup tomorrow and then try and do the long come one as well um, sometime soon so we can see that because I just don't know how to feel. Definitely was a great deal. There's a lot of things I like about it. I don't know how to feel about the palettes. There's the same complaints that I had about last year. If the formula isn't better, it's gonna be the same complaints I have about this year. That's how I feel about it. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you like us and you haven't subscribed, you should join the Dark Angel family. I'm trying really hard to, to we're, we're trying to film a lot right now to make up for me being gone with my eyes being weird and then to also prepare for the fact that we're gonna be moving and that's gonna be a whole cluster. So we're doing our best. We're gonna be continuing on. And if we go away for a little while, just know that we are, we miss you and we love you and we are still thinking about you guys, but uh, it's just wild right now. So yeah. Other than that, I hope you guys are all safe, healthy. You have a wonderful day and you stay really with the dark twist.